Hello guys, this is Raven from Digi Integrity. Today we are going to see some interesting tech news in episode 211. The e-commerce player registered a whopping 4.6 billion dollars that is nearly around 32000 crore rupees sales during the first week of the festive season. A 23% on year growth driven by the mobiles and fashion products. Flipkart group emerged as a leader during the festive week sales with a 64% market share followed by Amazon with a 28% of the market share. Smartphones worth rupees 68 crore were purchased every hour across the platforms during the October 2 to 10 sale period and the Red Sea has forecast a sale of around 4.8 billion US dollars that is around 36000 crore in the first week of the festive season. India is the biggest number of cryptocurrency owners in the world with over 10 crore investing in digital currencies ahead of the US and Russia. Cryptocurrencies are gaining in more popularity every day despite concerns with the stability and bans in Russia and China connected to cryptocurrency activity. Over time people in several countries have begun investing in cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ether and Dogecoin and the same is true for India as well. According to the recent report India has a number of investors on Bitcoin. After announcing IQ Z5 smartphone last month, the Vivo subbrand is now all set to launch a new variant on the same on October 20th in China, which is going to dubbed as IQ Z5 X. According to the latest teaser image, it has been confirmed that IQ Z5 X smartphone will be powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 900 chipset. Oppo launched the K9 5G in May and followed up with the Pro variant last month. We recently learned the company will add a new member to the lineup dubbed as Oppo K9s, which we know that it will be unveiling on October 20th. A poster shared by Oppo and Vivo confirms a K9 design. The rear panel comes with a triple camera system headlined by the 64 megapixel unit. Sony's Xperia event is on October 26th. Sony's China branch announced that it has reached an agreement with Meizu for strategic cooperation. The goal is to make Xperia phones better at catering the needs of the Chinese market. That's where Meizu comes in it boosts around 100 million users in the home market. And Sony will soon start pre-installing selected Meizu application on the Xperia 1 3 and subsequent new products. Current owners of the One Mark 3 will be able to download this application after installing the latest test firmware update that was rolled out this month Samsung's latest teaser for the Galaxy Unpacked Part 2 event is set for October 20th that is on Wednesday. The video features the Galaxy Studio where three aliens customize the color scheme of their clothes. Vivo X80 seems to be in works already. The standard Vivo X80 is said to come with a 120 Hz full HD plus display, Dimensity 2000 chipset and a 50 megapixel camera. The Vivo X80 series may debut early next year. Vivo's new machine named as T1X on the shelves of the major e-commerce platforms but the real machine appearance and configuration aspects are currently in the state of secrecy. Revealed a name only is expected to be released shortly and counting the time should also be the main attack on the double eleven products. Augmented Reality Products developer and electronic manufacturer TCL Electronics have released the first binocular full color micro LED AR glasses with a few impressive features. This Thunderbird Smart Glasses Pioneer Edition is a holographic light waveguide pair of AR glasses developed only in-house by the company. This design takes into consideration the thin light and high bright color display as a first model in the industry to offer a binocular full color micro LED holographic waveguide. This product is however not ex- expected to be out within the next year and there is no information yet about the pricing of this product we expect more details about the potential release date price and global availability information for the thunderbird smart glasses pioneer edition Reowned PDA manufacturer Palm has had a turbulent past since its purchase by PC joint HP in 2010. The ownership of the company had changed hands in 2014 from HP to TCL. It has also experienced a period of seeming inactivity after the release of its Palm phone that was mixed bag of success. The company has now provided some teasers about its unveiling of a pair of AirPods like earbuds that will be a good match for the Palm phone, which is reputed as one of the world's smallest Android phones. A new Poco device appeared on the recent FCC listing and by the looks of it, its upcoming Poco M4 of course as it is usually the case with FCC listing, this one doesn't reveal much about the handset. 
Redmi is expected to launch new smartphones in China in the coming days. These devices have started appearing on certification websites. At the same time, two of the brand's executives also officially teased the arrival of the latest handsets. The upcoming Redmi devices could belong to the Redmi Note series. There is a high chance for these handsets to go official as Redmi Note 11 series. In fact, the specifications of these two models in the lineup, namely Redmi Note 11 and Redmi Note 11 Pro. Oppo could launch a foldable phone in the coming months to rival the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. The claimed foldable screen size could also be bigger than the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Oppo foldable phone could be powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon AAA chipset. WhatsApp is rolling out an end-to-end -end encryption for chat backups on Android and iOS. Users can ensure WhatsApp cloud backups with a password or 64-digit encryption key so that no one can expect themselves can access backup files. WhatsApp says users cannot restore the backup if they lose WhatsApp chats or forget the password or key. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe. And follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.